So the first thing you will need to do is take a bowl like this one, uh, put in your shredded paper. Now, if you don't have shredded paper, totally understand. Use newspaper, cut it up, works just the same, um, and you'll get a really good dough. And then basically fill it with hot water. So this is, the kettle's just boiled, and I'm going to fill it up to the top. I might have to add a bit more hot water, and then we're going to leave it overnight. So here's more boiling water. And you basically just want it to cover it. There we go. It's very hot, so be very careful. Now, if you don't use hot water, uh, that's fine. I've made it before using cold water. Just the hot water really helps break down the, the fibres of the paper and hopefully will make a smoother clay. Anyway, so we'll leave that overnight and then we'll come back to it. So this has been overnight. It's nice and soft. It's quite a lot of water in there. I'm going to leave the water in there for now because it'll help pulp it. Now I'm going to use a hand blender. Now please ask for permission to use it if you're using your parents or somebody else's and um, make sure it's, well this one's quite new and quite strong. So I'm just going to literally blend it. So we have a really lovely squishy mulch. Now you, it, there's still quite a lot of water in here so I will take this and give it a good squeeze over the sink and get excess water out but this is looking really good and then we'll add the gluing paste. <music> Okay, so I've taken out quite a lot of the water. In fact, look how much water came out. That's quite a lot. And I've halved the um, the, the, the pulp, mainly because I want to do, um, you know, different videos showing you the different um, glue techniques. This one's the easiest of them all. I'm just gonna take uh, some flour. This is all purpose flour. It doesn't matter if it's self-raising or not. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top and I'm going to mix it all up. So this is basically your flour and water mixture because your pulp still has quite a lot of water in it. You don't have to add extra water. I'm also going to add just a tiny bit of salt because I want to keep this over the summer in an airtight container in the fridge and I don't want it going off because it will go off otherwise. And then you just mix it up. There's no exact science to this. You just need to add quite a bit of flour. I'm going to add quite a lot until you kind of start feeling it clumping together and feeling as if it's going to um, stick. It's actually a really nice process. This is lovely. If you do like being exact, I think a very rough measure is something like uh, one part flour to about three parts of the pulp. mold it if you can mold it into shapes and it holds its shape then it's probably ready look I think that's quite good what do you think that's a little heart so yes so now I'm going to put this into an air tight container and then when you're ready to use it you have your own DIY shredded paper clay so cheap so thrifty so frugal and really great to work with and we'll be doing more projects on red ted art with this soon in the meantime you can check out the paper mache fruity bowls that we made previously anyway as always this is your craft basic so uh, this is to help you do other projects in the future um, don't forget to like comment subscribe and hopefully we'll see you again soon take care bye